The reason that I started the company was really because I personally wanted to wear something that didn't exist. You know, I grew up actually shopping in thrift stores a lot. I collected a lot of vintage t-shirts and sweats, and it was mostly about the comfort of the fabrics that were old. I really always loved vintage stuff, mostly because everything was more comfortable. It was already like super broken in. And I've always just had this kind of obsession with being comfortable. And then on top of that, I have like this wild passion for color. Even as a young girl, I did a lot of art. I could never find enough crayons. I could never find, you know, the red wasn't right. And it was just like, I've always been very specific with colors. Growing up, you know, I became more and more specific of what I wanted to wear. and. It it had to be super comfortable and it had to be specific colors. I just really struggled finding what I wanted all the time. I guess I was just like super picky with what I wanted to wear. And I mean, I basically bought a sewing machine and started making clothes for myself. They were always super bold, lots of bright colors. I learned how to dye fabrics, doing screen printing, all for myself. It was interesting because a lot of times when you see screen print, you know, you see like four or five colors, but with the Aviator Nation stuff, a lot of times you see nine and 10 colors because I like to do a lot of colors. And it's, it's tricky, you know, and a lot of screen printers won't even let you do it. I was wearing clothes around and people basically would come up to me and ask me what I was wearing. It was really obvious that it stood out. I decided, you know, maybe I could actually try to sell the clothes. So I sewed up a bunch of garments and realized when I was doing that how much I really loved it and pretty much fell in love with the craft. And so I kind of developed this whole love affair with making clothes later on. I was like 20, I was 26 when I started the company. I probably started sewing at 25 and I realized how much I loved it. I always loved art growing up and like I said, I always loved colors but to be able to put them into fashion I realized I had this passion for fashion. Once I got started with the company and I started making the clothes I realized that in the fashion world things change all the time you know you have to come out with a new season of clothes every three months you know if you're selling to wholesale and boutiques and stuff like that they expect constant newness so I actually realized that I was also passionate about change because I enjoyed that process. A lot of people would get frustrated, you know, they're like, oh man, like constantly trying to design new stuff all the time. But like, I loved it. I loved that every three months I had to deliver something totally different. It was like one thing after another with the company. I, it was like everything I did, I realized I had this passion for it. I mean, I really feel like I'm in the right place because in the fashion world, there's constant change, which I love. You know, I can do whatever I want with color and I can make garments super comfortable, which is pretty much the backbone of Aviator Nation is how comfortable the clothes are and the colors. The general struggle is really to continue to make awesome product, but also stay true to Aviator Nation. At the same time, come up with something new that will keep people excited because the struggle in this industry is to survive after, you know, like five or six years. I mean, a lot of companies become cool and whatever, and then they kind of go away. And, and it's pretty typical for a company to last five or six years. And now we're going on year 13. It's like I have to constantly come out with new designs and innovative ideas for the clothing that will continue to keep my customers happy and excited, you know, and like what's going to make them continue to buy Aviator Nation rather than buying something new because everyone always wants something new. The struggle for me is just to constantly design things that are new that people that have been my customer for years may not have yet but at the same time, I can't become something else. I have to stay Aviator Nation. It's hard to not be influenced by all the other fashion going on and be like, oh, well, everyone's doing this, everyone's doing this, you know, like, this is really cool right now, we should do that. I mean, I have to pretty much like, like ignore all that because if I do that, then I just become like everybody else. And so to stay unique and to stay, to keep it really special, which, you know, from day one, Aviator Nation has been successful because it's like super special and super authentic. And it, you know, it was me hanging up my records, you know, when I was 25 years old, 26 years old. Like, so now 13 years later, I'm still hanging up my records. And so that's the thing is like, rather than evolving into like this corporate environment, because I mean, I have almost 200 employees now. 
you know, but I'm still hanging up my records because it has to stay true. It has to stay authentic. It has to stay special the way it was in the very beginning. And so I'm constantly trying to make sure that it stays special the way that it was from the beginning and that it doesn't turn into this corporation. And that's a constant struggle just with business. I mean, personally, I think my biggest struggle is balance because I really love what I do and so I want to work all the time. With anybody I think that loves their company, they probably struggle with balance too because it's hard. I mean, it's like, you know, you wake up and of course there's like a million things to think about because I've got all these stores and all these employees and new designs that are due every day and, and I love it. So I'm constantly doing it. What's not good for me is when I work so hard that I burn myself out and, and it becomes not fun. And it's usually not very long before I realize that and I take a step back. And, but so now I'm trying to really force myself to do vacations annually. Like every January is a good time of year for me to take off. I try to always plan January away. I try to plan family time in December. And then, you know, on a day-to-day -day thing, like, I'm not gonna lie, I want to be doing yoga every single day. Like I want to be surfing every weekend, but all that stuff always gets set to side when I have a store to open or a new design that's due or whatever. So I think the biggest struggle for me is balance and I know how important it is and just really like forcing myself to step back and make time for myself personally, even though I love what I do and I feel like I'm having this awesome personal experience just in my work, which is great. But there's no denying that you have to take a step back and remove yourself from work and focus on nature. You know, doing things that I love outdoors is, is a big passion. And so it's like, I have to make time for that, make time for surfing. I can step away for a week, the company will survive, I can surf and, you know, and then I feel so much better when I come back. So just really trying to keep the balance. I'm Paige Mikoski and I love a good adventure. <laughs>